Beneath the beauty and glamour of horse racing lies a darker reality of moments etched in time when the pursuit of victory collides with unforeseen tragedy. Today, we're diving into the depths of the riding world to unveil the untold stories of the top 10 worst horse racing accidents. Watch the video till the end because you'll gain a new appreciation for the highs, the lows, and the tough spirit that defines the world of horse racing. Admire Rakti, 2008 to 2014. He was from the first crop of foals sired by Hart's Cry, owned by Richi Kondo, and trained by Tomoyuki Umeda. During the Melbourne 2014 Cup horse race, his weight was increased to 58.5 kilograms. He was the favorite to win, but in the last 600 meters he became very tired and eventually came last. Unfortunately, after the race, he collapsed and died from a heart attack caused by an irregular heartbeat. Anthony Van Dyke, 2016 to 2020, best known for winning the 2019 Epsom Derby. He was a top-class two-year-old in 2018 when he won three of his seven races. He also won the Derby Trial Stakes on his three-year-old debut, won pre foy and ran second in both the Coronation Cup and the Caulfield Cup. He remained in training as a four-year-old in 2020. Unfortunately, he got hurt during the 2020 Melbourne Cup and had to be put down. Barbaro, 2003 to 2007. Barbaro was a champion American thoroughbred racehorse who won the 2006 Kentucky Derby. On May 20th, 2006, Barbaro ran in the Preakness Stakes as a heavy favorite, but after a false start, he fractured three bones in and around the fetlock of his right hind leg. The injury ruined any chance of a triple crown in 2006. His owners concluded that he could not be saved and Barbaro was euthanized. Brown Panther, 2008 to 2015. He won 11 of his 28 races and competed in seven countries, gaining media attention due to his achievements and being bred and owned by the England footballer Michael Owen. He recorded his final victory in the Dubai Gold Cup 2015, being seriously injured in the Irish St. Ledger. The doctors had no choice besides immediately euthanizing him. Caribus, 2019 to 2022. Coribus showed promise as a three-year-old when he won two of his three races, including the Autumn Stakes, the 2000 Guineas, and the St. James's Palace Stakes. He died on the 4th of September 2022 during the Prix du Moulin de Longchamp race at Longchamp Racecourse in Paris, France. The horse stumbled and fell one and a half furlongs from the finish. Darlin, 2007 to 2013. He competed in national hunt racing in a nine race career that lasted from April 2011 until February 2013. He won six times, finished second once and fell twice. On the 4th of February, 2013, a date which Marcus Armitage wrote in the Daily Telegraph was described as a black day for racing. Darlin sustained a broken neck and died. Eight Bells, 2005 to 2008. Eight Bells became the first filly in Oaklawn Park history to win the Martha Washington Stakes, the Honeybee Stakes, and the Fantasy Stakes. She won the Martha Washington by 13 and a half lengths, setting a stakes record for margin of victory. In the 2008 Kentucky Derby, she became second. Due to collapse, she suffered compound fractures of both front ankles and was immediately euthanized because of the nature of her injuries. Gimme Dilute, 2012 to 2015. He won the Echo Eddy Stakes, then followed that with third place finishes in the Chicklang and Pat Day Mile Stakes. Then he won the Los Alamitos Derby, the most important victory in his career. After winning the El Cajon, Gimme Dilute suffered a hind leg fracture. A week later, he underwent surgery that at first seemed to be successful. However, the Colt fractured his leg again coming out of surgery and had to be euthanized. Juala, 2009-2013. She recorded her first success in a minor race at Wolverhampton Racecourse. In the following year, she won her first two races before finishing second to Soul Power in a listed race at Doncaster. Juala reached her peak as a four-year-old in 2013 and was scheduled to retire from racing at the end of the year, but was killed in a fall at Shatin Racecourse in December. Medina Spirit, 2018 to 2021. He finished first in the 2021 Kentucky Derby before being disqualified. He came second in the 2021 Breeders' Cup Classic and third in the 2021 Preakness Stakes. Medina Spirit collapsed and died at Santa Anita Park following a five furlong workout on December 6, 2021. He was three years old and the rider was safe. 
As we wrap up this exploration into the darker side of horse racing, we invite your perspective. How can we better safeguard the well-being of these magnificent creatures? Share your thoughts in the comments below.